Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel and if you're new here, welcome. Uh, today we're going to be doing a food review of Yak and Yeti, you can see behind us. So uh, come on in and we'll show you some of the good eats they have here. Here we are at Yak and Yeti. Here's the menu. We've got small plates, some shareables, soups and salads, noodles and bowls, different sides, some grilled food. And then up here they have uh, their wok. And these are their specialties. Right. Any questions so far? We thought we would show you the kids' menu. So these are the entrees they can choose from. They said the noodles are a butter and soy base. And you can upgrade to a lo mein for a dollar and chicken lo mein for another dollar after that. And then they can choose from two sides. They can choose any of those two sides. There's their additional dessert charge, and it also comes with a drink for them. So those are the kids' meals at Yak and Yeti. Show you some of the decor here in the restaurant. We're kind of in a sunroom. It's a big one. Very big, but it is actually kind of segmented, so there's different rooms. It's not kind of an open floor plan like you'd see in a Bell's Castle or anything like that. So, but it is very nice. It's kind of cozy and has lots of different. Um, I'll zoom in over here so you can kind of see. They have lots of different like hangings on the wall, very fine art pieces of what you'd see all over Asia and India. So it's a really cool place. Uh, really cool decor. I really like it. Like all the different artifacts and things they have around the restaurant. So it's a very cool place. Um, it did take a little bit. It's a very popular restaurant to get in. Um, so it took us about uh, 15 minutes after we had checked in to actually get in. So maybe be aware of that if your kids are extra hungry. Uh, but I think they do have a really good kids menu here. So that's good. And uh, we'll show you the food here shortly. So here's the kids. Chicken or corn dog nuggets. Here's the chicken tikka masala with naan, grilled naan, and this is the chicken lo mein. That is a very big portion of chicken lo mein. Wish me luck. All right, so here's my first complaint for, I haven't tasted it yet, but I got the chicken tikka masala. And as you can see, there's one, two, three, four pieces of chicken in that whole thing. Is that all? Most of it's just sauce. So that's kind of disappointing that they don't uh, apparently give you much chicken. Hopefully it tastes good. <laughs> How is it? The good? Yeah? I have more chicken in my little main. How's yours? I think the, the, good? I think the, the, you got a whole bunch of chicken in yours? I have more chicken than you do. Yeah, that's good. You want to taste it? Go for it. Like the chicken 
lo mein and the chicken is breaded. So if you don't want a breaded chicken in your lo mein, I probably wouldn't order this. But it tastes really good. What do you think of yours? What? They're good? Oh, focus, camera. There we go, camera. Here's my chicken tikka masala. I will say the flavors are really good. The chicken's really good, nice and moist. They say it's spicy, but it's not spicy, like, at all. Okay, how does it compare to the stuff you eat when you're in India? Um, the flavor, it's, it's much more tame than you would ever find anything in India. Uh, I'd say it's very Americanized, but still, it, it's very flavorful, it's really good. Yeah. I would definitely, um, I don't know if I'd order it again just because there's like only four pieces of chicken in here and I would typically want more than that. So maybe ask for extra chicken or something like that. But, but I mean, flavors, flavors My great. question is, is that how they eat it in India? Do they put it in their naan like that? Um, a lot of times they do. In India, they a lot of times don't eat with utensils. They'll just eat with the, like their fingers okay. and the rice and they'll just kind of pick it up and eat it. So, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I'll point this out. There are some really, really big green onions in this. I like myself some green onions, but I'm not just going to pick this up and bite it. I wish they were chopped up or not even in there because they're kind of annoying. Taylor is enjoying my, move your hand honey, my chicken lo mein. Oh, that's her second pile, huh? Yeah. You like chicken lo mein, don't you? Yeah. So we thought we would share it versus order her her very own because a couple more bucks for a kid's meal. And she already ate all her nuggets. What was your favorite part of the meal? <laughs> you like it? Yeah? What did you think of the naan or the chicken? What did you think of the curry sauce? Would you ever come back here? Yeah. Yeah? What was your favorite part of dinner? Uh, up. What? This? This? The napkin was your favorite? Yeah? <laughs> and this. And this. And that? But not the sauce. What was your favorite part of dinner? My favorite, favorite part was nothing. Was nothing? Would you ever come back here? No. No? She did pretty good. She, she ate did. a lot of her. That's a lot for her. She loves mini corn dogs. How was your meal overall? She really liked it overall. Oh, it's a good one to keep on the back burner. Something yeah. different. It was overall, I thought the food was good. Again? <laughs> My chicken curry was very good. Um, like I said, the chicken, I only had four pieces of chicken. I did end up. I did end up uh, actually complaining about it. They brought me a whole new one that had four no more pieces of chicken. So I ate six pieces of chicken total. Uh, but overall, it was really good. Uh, we'll show you the receipt when we get it, and then uh, we'll call it a day. All right, so here's the final uh, thing. We had five guests with us. So the chicken tikka masala was $24.99. Three kids meals, and then the lo mein. So total was $71, then we had a 10% discount. Total for $69 before tax. Uh, my, final, my final thoughts on the restaurant is that it, the food is top notch. I mean, the, the flavors out of this park, wonderful. Um, value for a dollar, um, I think coming here, family of five at Disney property for $70 can't be beat uh, for the flavor. Really good. Um, I think they could work on the portion size. Like I said, the four small pieces of chicken in that chicken tikka masala, especially for a $25 dish, that was a little disappointing. But overall, uh, we really enjoyed the meal. I probably would not recommend to the Disney dining plan uh, just because of the cost. Um, if you saw our last video uh, with the um, Garden Grill, that one was over $200 for a family of five, and that would be the same dining credit that you would use here. So 70 versus over 200, you can obviously see a price difference. So this one, much better to pay if you're not on the dining plan or cash. Um,
but still, Yak and Yeti here at the Animal Kingdom will serve really good food. Um, and they don't have very many options here in Animal Kingdom. So if you're just looking for a good sit-down restaurant that's not a character meal, this is a great place to come. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and uh, stay tuned for more fun. See ya.